Welcome to the Yellow and Luna channel. On today's video, we're going to be opening up a bunch of blind boxes from Roll Life. In front of me, I have three full cases of Roll Life that I picked up during 11.11. We have two from Surrey, we have Surrey Myth, and then we have Surrey Peach Blossom. And then on the end here, we have Nancy Dream. I think I'm going to start off with our Surrey Myth series since we have two Surrey series today. And this series actually goes by a few different names. When I bought it on 11.11, it was just called Surrey Myth. I've seen it mythological in a few other places. And then online, I've seen the name The Legend of Deification. So these are just various mythological creatures or deities. Suri is one of my favorite characters, so I'm really excited to open this up. For our full case, we have eight different blind boxes inside, and when we look at the box, you can see we have four on each side that we could possibly get. And these are super cool designs. They look like they're supposed to be very tall as well. The box is very big, so I think these are going to be pretty tall. I would love to get a Suri Secret Edition. I've never gotten a Secret Edition from Rolla before so I think that'd be really fun if we got one today although I am hoping for the secret from our second peach blossom Surrey series or the dream one so I think I'm okay not getting a secret from this series I don't know who our first one is going to be but I am excited the box is really light, but they are pretty like tall, narrow figures, so I don't think they're going to be very heavy feeling. And the bag just says the brand Roll Life all over it. And let's see who our first deity is. One, two, three. Oh, we got the black and red one, although I think we have two that are red and black. This one looks like a spider or a raven. This one is really cool. Let's remove the plastic on its head. She looks like the spider queen. I really love it. And it looks like she comes with a little base. So let's set up the base next. And I think all of these are gonna come on stands, just judging from the poses we saw on the side. All right, I got her all attached. Let's have a look at the box to see what comes inside. We should have a card. And here's a look at our first card of Suri. I found a few translations for her online. One of them said spider spirit and the other one said spider goblin. So she definitely sounds like maybe a mythological creature. I really love the details of her giant wings. She looks straight out of a video game. There is a lot of like shiny vinyl for this. So I know for some people, they might not like that design choice. It definitely is different vinyl than they normally do. Although I haven't gotten a Surrey series in a few years. So maybe all the other series we open today are gonna be a similar vinyl. I don't know. She looks so gothy though. I love the hair details and her outfit is just so cool. I really love the detail of the spider on her stomach. And the stand does a really good job. I really like this pose. And I really like the longer, more narrow Surrey figure. I think it's really different from the previous series. Besides her having a very, very shiny wings, I think she looks really cool. I kind of wish they were more of a matte texture and less this glossy vinyl, but she looks incredible. Alright, let's reach into the box and grab our next blind box and see who we're going to get. With Roll Life, they're just like Pop Mart. You're always going to get the 8 figures on the side. You don't get any duplicates, but you have the chance of a secret. Ooh, this one is definitely a lot bigger. So it might be the one on the cover. That one has a really big dress, but this one is definitely very wide. So let's see. One, two. Ooh, we got the other red one. Oh, and this one is crazy looking. Look at those wings. And I did feel the stand on the inside. 
So we have a stand and it looks like a sword or some sort of weapon. I found two different translations for this deity, Rosefinch. This one is really cool though. I really love how the wings are just swooping like that. Kind of looks like phoenix wings to me. And this series is definitely more of like that gamer kind of fighter style. It's not super cutesy like the next two series we're going to unbox. It's not usually the type of vinyl that I like to see on my vinyl figures. But I don't know, maybe it's hard to use that type of vinyl for a figure this detailed. Roll Life blind boxes are pretty affordable, but they usually are very similar to Pop Mart and Finding Unicorn, but this series definitely isn't. We've opened up the two red ones today, which aren't really my favorites. There is one more red one. This series was a very heavily red and black themed, so maybe we'll get that one as well, but I was kind of hoping for the more pastel-y ones. But let's go ahead and see. This is another big one. This one feels like it might be another one with wings. We do have one more with wings, so let's see. Oh, this is the one on the cover. This one is gorgeous. I love this one. And this one just has a simple stand and it looks like we don't have any accessory. We do have a little rod because she is supposed to be like gliding through the air or floating. And it isn't ball jointed so she doesn't rotate or anything, she just levitates. And here she is on her clear stand. And this series is definitely very different from previous Surrey Roll Life series. I really love the theming and everything behind it. The inspiration is so cool and it's so nice to have these really dynamic and interesting poses. But I can definitely see you might not be a fan of this series if you have other Surrey or other Roll Life figures because it's really different. I really love her though. It looks like she's holding an amethyst in her hand and her hair is just so incredible. I love the traditional clothing and the details on this one are so good. There's like little metallic stars on the back of the robe and I love gray hair. Gray hair is just so awesome. And here is the card for Nua. And I think we're gonna open one more box before we switch up series. So let's open up our last box. And this one feels really light. It feels like there's no figure at all. So, hmm, I feel like it's this one here, our blue one, because that's the one with the less amount of details. It looks less heavy than the ones with like wings and lots of accessories. Ooh, it's a pretty big figure though, even though it's really light. Let's see who it is. Oh, her hair is stuck on the bag. Oh, I was right. This one is definitely the lightest one in this series, I'm pretty sure. And it's like this mermaid seashell one. And let's go ahead and fit her on her stand. And I like how they do put a little bit of support for the back foot, even though it doesn't fit in the back foot, it's just there so the figure doesn't sag. And here she is in her seashell with her beautiful translucent blue hair. And we have Daughter of the Dragon King for our fourth figure. She's definitely a bit tricky to fit on the stand. You really have to get it perfect because if you don't, it won't stand at all. I really love the hair though. This figure is really awesome. For mine, there is a bit of paint transfer in a few different places, which is too bad. But overall, I really like it and I really like the details on this one. I think the clamshell base is a very, very cute. And the colors are probably my favorite thing. The colors are just so beautiful. I think if you put this somewhere where it gets a lot of sun, it'll look really gorgeous in the light with the clear blue hair. And I like the front hair tendrils, it looks super cute. 
But here's the forehead that I've unboxed so far. I kind of wish the material hadn't changed so much. I'm a bit nervous now for our peach series considering the style of these is so different. Let's go ahead and move on to our Nancy series. I'm so excited to open up Nancy's dream. I've been waiting to get this series. Nancy is definitely Roll Life's most popular character. And usually our Nancy series feature traditional Chinese clothing, but occasionally they do a departure and they do more of like a modern style. So Nancy's dream is more of that modern take and this series is super popular. We have 12 options for this series and one secret edition. Most Nancy series are 12 figures and one secret just like Pop Mart. The secret for this series is really cute. It's this flying bird one. I think it's like butterflies and it's just really incredible. It's a really dynamic figure. I really like everything in this series though, so I would be sad if we were missing one, but getting a secret is always fun. And I really love how this series features very heavily pink and black. And I'm really excited to have a look at our first one. I think I'm just gonna grab something from the front row. And the box for this is beautiful. I think this one's pretty light, so Maybe we have the rabbit one. I'm so interested to see. This is such a cool series though. I think I'm gonna love all of them. Ooh, and this one definitely comes in plastic to protect it. And let's go ahead and see who I got. Oh, look at this one. This one is gorgeous. This is our moth one. Oh, I love it. It's so cool. And they were trying to protect the antenna. And it looks like we have some plastic around the hair to stop paint transfer. And wow, she looks incredible and matches with my nail polish. And here is our card. We have Fairy Moth. Fairy Moth is so gorgeous. I love the pearls around the neck and this outfit is spectacular. The showstopper is definitely the wings and the antennas though with that hint of gold. I really love the pose for this figure. It's just so unique and different. And this is hollow, so the actual figure itself, you can barely see it because it's so wrapped up in the wings and the hair but it's just this completely hollow plastic. There is so much weight in the hair though. This hair is just so gorgeous. I just love this figure. I think it's probably gonna be one of my favorites that we opened today. Again, it's just so unique and different. This is just such a cool figure. And this pose goes so well with Nancy's closed eyes. Oh, I just love it. And who are we going to get from our second box? Ooh, this one is even lighter than the moth one was. It's so interesting how light these are. And this one looks like it's probably really small as well. It feels super tiny. One, two, three. Oh, it's the super sweet one with the mask. And it looks like we get a little accessory. It's just a little kind of, I think it's like a sleeping sack. Oh, I was definitely wrong. It's just the top for the candle. It's kind of silly that they gave that separate. And we have a bit of flocking on her teddy bear. It feels really weird though. It's not like true flocking. It's kind of smooth with just a bit of fuzziness. They've definitely changed the materials they're using. This is such a light figure. It feels really different compared to older series. There's so much to look at for this figure though. We have these cute blonde ringlets and we have wings on the back, which is a nice touch. We even have gold stars on the dress. This cute little Nancy is just getting ready for bed. It's so sweet. I really like the color combinations for this figure as well. She's super sweet and I love all the details. Just such a cute figure. And this one is called Sleepwalk. What a perfect name. And let's go ahead and grab the third box. Ooh, this one is really heavy. I think it must be the one in the bathtub or the bed. 
It's definitely heavier than the other two and it feels really full. It almost feels like the figures not quite, yeah, the bag is like stuck. <laughs> it's really well packed in there, it barely fits. I definitely think this is maybe the one in bed. One, two, three. Oh, it is the bed one. What a good guess. And we have Counting Sheep, our cute Nancy's laying in bed. And all of our cute, adorable sheep are flocked with this one. It's the same flocking where it doesn't feel as good as like a Lulu the piggy. I think this might have been the first series that Roll Life did flocking though. And the bed is really awesome. Again, as I said, this series features a lot of black with like purple and pink, which is one of my favorite color palettes. And I just noticed our cute little sheep have numbers on them. So we have one all the way down to five. And this is just such a unique figure. I don't think we've ever seen a figure lying down in bed before. This one is really cool. I definitely think you could pick this one out at the store if you wanted to. You would just need to search for the one that barely fits the box and you can kind of feel it coming out. That sheep on the forehead was protruding from the front of the box. We are down to our fourth box. Let's see who's inside. This one's another light one. And who is inside? Oh, it's the cute one that looks like it's coming out of a photo frame. Oh, this one is gorgeous. This one is a butterfly. And here is our card for butterfly specimen. So it's like those butterflies that are in a frame. I really, really like this one. I think that is just so unique. It's also kind of sad. Our poor butterfly is strapped onto the frame. On the back of it though, we do get this really nice stand, which makes it easy for this to stand perfectly. I really like the metallic paint details in the corner. They are so pretty and we have lots of little butterflies everywhere. This one is so pretty. I really, really like this one. I don't think I was really excited for this one, but seeing it in person, it is absolutely gorgeous. This is just such a unique Nancy series, like, it's so incredible. Even though they've definitely cheapened the materials they've used and these don't feel as good as previous Nancy series, Nancy series always just focus so much on the details and putting a lot of thought behind this series. And we're on to our fifth box. I grabbed the heaviest box there was. I'm pretty sure this is going to be our massive chair one. And I just really wanted to see it, so I grabbed this one. I don't think the secret's super heavy, so I definitely think this is the chair one. And this is like so much heavier than every other blind box in there. It's kind of fun where if you bought these in store, I think you'd have a pretty good chance at guessing who you were gonna get if you didn't want a surprise. Oh no, I am wrong. It's not the chair. We have the massive teddy bear one. So we have this mini little Nancy. Oh, and it looks like she broke but it looks like it's supposed to be able to come off. So give me a second and I'll just attach Nancy back. It was really easy to fit her back on. And this one is fully flocked all over except for the Nancy. And I just love this massive teddy bear. It is so awesome. This one is definitely super fun. And this one's definitely the heaviest. So it's even heavier than the chair one. There's not a lot to look at though. It's a pretty simple figure. It's just a flock teddy bear, but I do like the little baby mini Nancy. I think that's really cute and different. I'm really excited to see what they do next for Nancy. Oh, I love this one. I am really excited that this series does have flocking. Even if it's not the best quality, it's still really fun. And I love how this one is pink. Normally when we see flocking, it's always a white figure. And here's the card for Hug Me. And we are halfway done the full case. So this is our six one. And this one's pretty light, but pretty big. I think this one might be the one looking in the mirror. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe it's the one in the boat. 
it has a very big accessory from the feel of it. So we have our Nancy. Oh, it's the bathtub Nancy. And then we have a giant accessory, which is just, oh, I think it's, oh, the towel. It's the towel for Nancy's hair. It kind of looks like what nuns wear. I was a bit confused for a second. So this just goes on Nancy's head. Even though she hasn't gotten out of the bath yet, she's already wearing a hair towel. And here is our card for bubble bath. I really like bubble bath and I do take bubble baths a lot. I really like the brand Lush and buy bath bombs from there. And this figure is just so pretty. I love the clear vinyl. I love our moon. I love the bubbles over spilling the bathtub. I really love the clawfoot tub. This is just a really gorgeous and fun figure. I think this one is just so cute. It's not one of my favorites, but it's just such a cute figure. Again, there's just so much to look at and so many details. I really hope Nancy isn't falling asleep in the bath though. That's not a great idea. But let me know down below which was your favorite Nancy that we unboxed in today's unboxing. We got so many cute ones and this is just such a great series. Every figure is just so unique and again, I just love the color, the theme, and everything about this series is just so amazing. And here's a look at all six of our Nancy Dream figures that we unboxed today. I think we're going to move on to our next Surrey series. Let's go ahead and grab our Nancy Peach Blossom 9 Elves series. I find with Suri and Nancy that sometimes the translation depends on what site you're looking at. And I really like the color theme for this series. We have some purple, some pink, a bit of blue, and then we have that accent of black, and then there's a few red figures. These again are kind of based on mythology, but they're based on fairies and spirits. And for this series, we have eight options and one secret like our last Surrey series. This one's the one I'm really, really hoping to get the secret for, so I hope we get it today. I'll show you the secret on the screen, but it's just this really beautiful Sakura-themed fairy. It's gorgeous. And this is just such a cute series. I can't wait to open it. I think out of the three, this is my favorite front art illustration. It's so cute. Our first box is pretty empty though, so I'm interested to see who is inside of here, but let's go ahead and have a look. Ooh, it's actually a pretty big figure, or maybe it has some plastic. Let's see. Oh, look at this one. This one is the Koi one. I love this one. This one's one of my favorites. And it looks like we get a stand and a little accessory. And here's the card for this series. This card is really amazing. I love the illustration on it. And it's fun that it's round. And our first series from the Peach Blossom series is Raccoon Carp Spirit. I love that it's named Raccoon. I wonder if that's a specific pattern or type of carp or koi fish that you can get. This is just so pretty. I just love the wings on it. And the stand for it is really playful as well. This is such a pretty figure though. I don't know what I think about the lime green bag. It's not my favorite, but I do really like how the outfit is flowing and all of our black dots on it. And I love our gill ears on our Surrey. This figure is just so cute. Let's go ahead and grab the second box. And who are we going to get next from Peach Blossom? This bag feels really big. Ooh, I think it might be the centaur one, maybe? That would be fun. The centaur one is gorgeous. Alright. Oh, I think it's kind of stuck in the bag a little bit. It. Oh, it's so cute. It looks very similar to one of the figures we got in the other Surrey series. And this one is adorable. And as you can see, this butterfly is barely holding on. So we have two broke parts on our Nancy figure. Definitely she needs a bit of glue. Inside the bag, however, we did get some accessories. It looks like her tambourine comes in two different parts. 
and we do have a stand for her. So there's a lot of accessories for this series. I don't think I'm a fan of these accessories very much though. And here's the card for Butterfly Dance. And here's Butterfly Dance all set up minus the antenna that broke. I don't think the accessories fit very well. Both of my figures, I've had a lot of problems getting the accessories attached to the hand. This is such a gorgeous series, but I'm really weary of the quality. I don't know if I just got a bad box or what, but this is definitely not the real life quality that I'm used to. Oh, I love everything about this figure though. I love butterflies and I love our black detail over the white with like the purple. It's just so special and it goes so well with our other Myth Surrey series. You can put this butterfly one with the moth one and it would look so cute together. These series are definitely kind of like sister series to each other. And we even have a metallic detail on the dress. You can barely see it, but it's there. And I do love how it has its feet in a ballet point. That's so cute. I'm a bit nervous to open our third box. That one was such a disaster to put together. I hope this one's a little bit easier to assemble and hopefully no accessory. I don't always like accessories with my figures, so I would appreciate it if we didn't get an accessory. All right, who do we have for this one? Ooh, we pulled out the stand first. Oh, we got this Huron one. I think it's a Huron bird. And this one is gorgeous. It's one of our red detailed ones. Very simple, but not my favorite from this series. And this one is called Magic Crane Musician, and it has a reed flute from the look of it. I really like the illustrations on these cards. They're beautiful. Our figure definitely doesn't have the same pose, but I still like the pose of the figure. This figure is really simple, but I really like it. I think it's pretty elegant looking. Because I'm not a huge fan of red, it's definitely not one of my favorites, but I think out of the ones we've gotten, it's given me the less grief trying to set it up. So maybe that's why I like it a little bit more. I definitely like the fairy theme for this series though. And cranes are such beautiful birds. This figure is so cute. I love our little fairy Suri. Have you seen the newest Studio Ghibli movie? I hear it's really great, but I haven't watched it yet. I really want to watch The Great Hero on soon. This figure is just really simple and really cute. Let's go ahead and open up our fourth box from Surrey Peach Blossom. And we haven't gotten the secret yet, but I hope it's inside of this series. And this one looks like it comes in plastic as well. Ooh, and I can already see the ears peeking out. This is the centaur one. Oh, I thought it was in plastic, but it was just the centaur body. This is our other red one, and this one is gorgeous. I love that it's a centaur. I think that is so cool. Look at how gorgeous this one is. Centaurs are so interesting, although it only has... Oh, actually, I thought it was the centaur one because of the long dress, but we only have two feet. So this is the rabbit one, I'm guessing from the ears. Oh, this one is still really cute though. And here's the card for Rabbit Demon, the Little Red Queen. What a cool name. I absolutely love this figure and I'm sure it has a really amazing story behind that name. And this one's our first one to actually have peach blossoms on the figure, which is awesome. I gotta say, I love the rabbit ears. and I love the expression and the motion on this Surrey. It looks very like cockhead and just very mischievous. I don't know. I really like this one and the dress is just so flowy. I really like the combination of the black hair with the red and the pink and the white. This one just has the coolest pose and it does look like a rabbit standing up on two feet, which is really cool. The feet are really elongated, which is nice. And it's our first one with no accessory, although these all have stands. And here's a look at all four of the Surrey Peach Blossom Fairy series. I really like this series, but I definitely was fighting a bit with the accessories for this series, which kind of annoyed me. I think they look amazing together though, and I like the fact that we got so many of the red ones. They just look so good together. 
I do think this series would go so well with our other series myth series as well. You can definitely combine the figures together and they would look like just one series. And here's a look at all of our role life figures that we opened up in today's video. We have Surrey Myth and Surrey Peach Blossom Fairy, and we have Nancy Dream. If you want to see the rest of the full cases, let me know down below in the comments, and let me know which was your favorite that I unboxed today. I hope you weren't disappointed that I didn't unbox all three series. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and I will see you next week for another video. Be sure to subscribe. <laughs>